I'm Belle from the Williams Sonoma Test Kitchen. Today I am connecting with my Italian roots by making one of my all time favorite summer dishes, panzanella. And I'm using my gorgeous olive wood handled Wusthof Amici knives to get the job done. So why Wusthof? Not only is this olive wood gorgeous, it is hard and durable. And every single handle is unique. The blade is extremely sharp and precision forged from a single piece of sturdy, high carbon steel that resists stains and corrosion. Panzanella is a traditional Italian dish made of stale or toasted bread and an array of fresh in-season veggies. I'm gonna use my serrated knife to cut my bread into one to one and a half inch cubes. The sharp teeth along the blade really get through the crust without crushing the nice fluffy interior of the bread. I'm gonna take a sheet tray, just add my bread in a single layer just gonna drizzle it with a little olive oil. Give it a nice little toss to coat all the sides. I'm just gonna throw the bread in a 350 degree oven for about eight minutes until it gets nice and toasty and dried out. You can really use whatever veggies you have on hand, but one you can skimp out on is the tomatoes. Using a serrated knife for tomatoes is ideal because the sharp teeth at the base of the blade really get into the skin of the tomato without crushing the delicate interior. Next up are my peaches. Peaches can be a little hard to cut because there's a big spiky pit in the middle that you have to get around. So using a small utility knife like this paring knife is great to get in and around that peach pit. This will help create really nice slices. Now I'm gonna show you my little trick for cutting corn off the cob without making a total mess. Take my six inch chef knife, which is smaller, which is easier to kind of get in and around this corn cob, and then just put some pressure on the knife to get right through the cob, right in half. Then you have a much shorter cob, so the kernels won't go everywhere. And I got these amazing cucumbers at the farmer's market, so I'm so excited to add them to this panzanella. For the cucumbers, I'm gonna be using a santoku. The santoku has these really nice dimples along the blade, which help reduce drag, so my cucumbers, which tend to be wet and stick to the knife, won't. Now onto some red onion. I'm using the same knife here for the same reason. I don't want these onion pieces to stick to this knife. So to hold the knife with the most control, I'm pinching up against the blade, really choking up on the blade with my forefinger wrapped around, not resting on the top. This is gonna give me the most control. I'm putting pressure on the onion to keep it secure to the board, but making sure my fingertips are tucked underneath so they don't get anywhere close to the blade. Really quickly, I'm just gonna run my knife up and down through the onion. I just took my bread out of the oven. It's nice and warm. I also love adding fresh herbs to my panzanella. It just helps bring out all the flavors of all those gorgeous veggies. <laughs> right when you break these basil leaves open, it's like an immediate smell of freshness. It's so good. I'm gonna add some minced chives. To mince my chives, I'm going to use a large chef's knife. Nice and choked up on that blade for all the control. Just run my knife through. What's great with this crusty bread is it's really gonna absorb all of this vinaigrette and become really tender and juicy. It smells delicious, that basil and tomato, you can really get all those delicious fresh scents. You wanna let it sit for a little while. I'm just gonna top the panzanella with some niçois olives and then a little fresh ricotta. My panzanella is perfect, ready to go. Now I'm gonna serve it up. And there you have it, the perfect summer panzanella prepped with my gorgeous olive wood handled Wusthof Amici knives. To learn more about these knives and to get this recipe, head to williamsonoma.com.